Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. Thanks for joining us everybody. Today we have a question from Hazel. Hello Hazel. Hi Hazel, thanks for your question. So Hazel's question is referring to her mum. Yeah. Sorry you lost your mum yeah. Hazel. Uh, Hazel wanted to know why her mum's mouth and eyes were closed when she died. Okay, yeah. And why her fingertips weren't black. Okay. She said in her question that there was just a little bit of green discoloration, slight tinge uh, on the side where she was lying when she died. Yeah. But other than that, no black fingers and her mouth and eyes were closed. Yeah. It's a good question because we get the opposite, don't we? All the time. All the mm. time is why were the fingers black and why was the eyes and the mouth open? And you're so... asking why they weren't black. Yeah. Um, and we don't know if you're talking instantly after you mum passed away or if it was after she'd been cared for in the funeral home so I'm not quite sure about the timing of your, your question but it may surprise you that not every single person will discolor straight away in the fingertips and the arms you will find if you move the body where the line they will have that uh, what we call mortuary stain so mainly like lividity the, yeah mainly underneath on the back and the bottom and on the shoulders where you probably wouldn't notice where somebody is lying there would definitely still be discoloration in them areas where the um, body's contacting at the lowest point but sometimes the fingers don't even change color sometimes the face looks the same you said she's got a, a bit of green tinge on this side it's probably her head was most likely on that side as she died and again that is the pooling and lividity it's part of lividity and it can look a bit green because it's part of the breakdown of the body and the body does start to turn the blood uh, a different color. So the first thing that will decompose is the blood and it will discolor and it'll look different shades of color through like the bruised. skin. Yeah. So it can be yeah. greeny yellowy, Green, it can be yellow, red, dark red, red purple mm. and all them colors. And the eyes and the mouth, interesting. I do get lots of people in with the eyes and the mouth closed. So we die, our muscles relax, everything relaxes. Um, sometimes people's mouths don't open and the eyes don't open because one, if they've died and the eyes are already closed and if they're in a position where the jaw can't come down, you know, it's not going to drop open, maybe it's leaning, you know, the shoulder or the position the body was in, the mouth won't open and then rigor mortis sets in. And that's where we have trouble opening the mouth because it's really difficult. So it gets really difficult once the mouth is closed and we're doing the prep and rigor mortis is in because it's basically nearly impossible to loosen the jaw. So I can hear you now asking <laughs> why would you want to open the mouth if it's already closed, but the reason is to clean. Exactly, yeah. One step ahead of you people. Yeah, good. Good question. It is. Yeah, that's the reason we need to open the mouth. We need to open, we need to get the bacteria disinfecting the mouth because if we don't, any purge or any fluid that's sitting in the mouth behind the lips that we may not blame to see will start to turn the mouth green and the smell and it wouldn't be very pleasant and decomposition would happen very fast around the face. So we have to open the mouth. So yes, lots of people die with their eyes closed, the mouth closed and without any discoloration to the, the, the tips of the fingers. And the, re the way we open the mouth is either massaging your uh, muscles. Because your rigor jaw. mortis is? It's a chemical reaction in your muscles, okay? All your muscles have the same reaction. Even your little tiny hair muscles and you'll get uh, goosebumps because the muscles pushing the hair up have got rigor mortis, which is a chemical. So we need to massage that. I do have a jaw opener that I place in between the teeth if I can get in. And this is basically like a clamp I'll squeeze in it that will help loosen the mouth open as well. So we can get in and clean that mouth. And then I would close it and suture and we're back to the eyes and the mouth being closed. So and once rigor mortis sets in, once you massage it, obviously it's gone then, it doesn't come back. It's not something that you have forever once you're, you've died. Yeah, that's Just in right. case you hadn't caught the previous videos. Yes, it's exactly right. Just fill it in the gaps. <laughs> no, but it's good because, you know, I, I, like I'm in that zone every single day. I don't yeah, think you, about no, it, you no, know, I don't think right. about it. But so if you massage good. where there's rigor mortis, you can loosen things up and get them to move and then they so don't re rigor they just stay movable then that's mm. right we get rid of rigor and naturally it dissipates at 76 hours after death just goes away weren't. yeah just 
it's a chemical reaction it's part of the decomposition stages and it's one stage that will eventually disappear along with all the others so yeah so i hope that helps you and i'm sorry you know you know you've lost your mum and everything but i am um, you know a fingertips not being discolored that's quite a nice thing to see them looking quite natural just when she passed so take care i hope that helped in uh you understanding why sometimes the eyes and the mouth and the fingertips are different from somebody else who dies so yeah thanks hazel yeah. sending love to you and yeah. everybody else who's grieving or has lost someone yeah we know what it's like it's awful hang in there um unfortunately yeah. it's just a natural part of this human condition that we all have yeah we're all traveling that road so yeah be nice to each other always be nice to each other and um oh i just want to add to that comment there trish because i had a comment that i don't think you would have seen it was while you were on holiday it was a very nasty comment towards us oh right so and i just want to say look we are good friends we're really good friends we're talking about death and dying. We're never making fun of death, dying and deceased bodies. That's not what we're about. We're about, you know, helping people answer their questions they've had. Now we had a comment that was really vicious and really awful. And it was uh, how we joke and we laugh constantly. We're always joking, we're always laughing. We might have switched off by now, but we do these videos to help others, but we also need support ourselves. And we're talking about things that are quite traumatic that's happened to us both. Recently. Yeah, and it can be very difficult. And sometimes when we go off behind the camera, it could be, you know, we have to have our own five, 10 minutes, reconvene and come back and start again. So please understand that we are just human. We are good friends, we like to get together and we have a laugh and a giggle and it's not about uh, the channel, it's not about death and dying or anything like that. We just enjoy life and try to live life and that's why we always say, hey guys, have a great day, enjoy your life, be kind, be caring and you know, next time you pass somebody that looks a bit sad, just say, hello, how's your day and walk off. It makes people feel really nice. So. Oh, well said. Yeah, so that, I just wanted to say that. But anyway, thanks to everybody that's still, still with here us at the end of the video. <laughs> Yay, and thank we made you it. to all of our members and all of our subscribers because obviously you're here because you like to listen to Because you're awesome someone. people. Well, you are. Thanks Take for your care, support, guys. guys. Bye. Bye.